Good evening, my name is Molly and I'd like to tell you my story. Growing up, all that I knew is that I was Methodist. My family attended Methodist churches my whole life. My mother passed away about two and a half years ago and she had never told me that she was Jewish. My mother's side of the family is from Nutley. So when I moved up here and I got reconnected with them, they started mentioning that they were Jewish. A year ago, my cousin Barbara went to a garage sale in the Orthodox Jewish community. And a year after, which is when I was living here, she had told me that she was going again. And I had told her previously that I really was interested in studying Judaism. So she said, why don't you come along with me? While there, I mentioned that I was curious to learn more about Judaism. The woman in charge listened to my story and concluded with delight, if your mother was Jewish and your grandmother was Jewish, then you are Jewish. She was asking me, what do you want to know? And I said, I really don't know what I want to know. I just want to know it. I want to know everything. I want to start from the beginning. Do you have some sort of a intermediate lesson that I could learn from or a class? So my first night at Partners in Torah, I studied with Dina and her partner because I didn't have a partner yet. I think I was really excited actually about what I was going to learn and I got to meet several other people and I think I left with a stack of business cards saying come for Shabbos. When I started at Partners in Torah I asked if I could have someone who was a teacher because they might have a little bit more tolerance for my questions so I got paired with an amazing woman who has a large family and I've also been kind of taken into her home as well and I've never had young brothers and sisters like that. They seem like they have so much depth and so many answers. What I still think is wonderful is that you can really study whatever you want and you can change whenever you want so you're not locked into a certain curriculum for a certain amount of time. One of the things that make my faith exploration limitless is that my parents are no longer living. I have no encouragement or discouragement from them in my life. It is now my job to listen to God's word and his convictions in my life. In reward for this, may she merit the blessings of Torah, marriage, and good deeds. And now let us say, Amen. Amen. Some of you know my story um, is very similar to Ruth's. A past of a loss, losing my parents, and um, now I feel like I'm in a season of harvest, just like Ruth was, um, where I'm harvesting all of the blessings that God has really sown into my life through those losses. So. Um, I'm just so honored and I'm excited to see what comes next. I have no real goal here. Sometimes I wonder if I should. I don't know where this is going, but that is a beautiful thing. I've always wanted to take a trip and have no destination. How thrilling and nerve wracking. What I do know is this is my journey through Judaism. And as soon as I find out where it leads, you will know.